Power system fault detection and mitigation refer to the process of identifying and responding to abnormal events or disturbances that occur in power systems. The objective of this process is to quickly detect and isolate faults and minimize their impact on the power system, thereby ensuring the safety, reliability, and stability of the system. Fault detection and mitigation are crucial in maintaining the continuous operation of the power system and preventing major blackouts. Types of power system faults, short circuit faults, open circuit faults, ground faults, overvoltage faults. Short circuit faults, a short circuit fault, also known as a fault to ground, is a common type of fault that occurs in power systems. A short circuit fault occurs when an abnormal connection is made between two or more conductors in the power system, resulting in a sudden increase in current flow. This increased current flow can lead to equipment damage, power outages, and even electrical fires. Short circuit faults can occur due to a variety of reasons, including equipment failure, lightning strikes, animal contact, human error, and natural causes such as storms and floods. When a short circuit fault occurs, it can have significant consequences on the power system, as the sudden increase in current flow can cause protective devices such as circuit breakers and fuses to operate and isolate the affected area. Types of short circuit fault, phase to ground fault, where a single phase conductor makes contact with the ground or an object in contact with the ground. In this type of fault, the voltage between the faulted phase and ground becomes zero, resulting in a sudden increase in current flow. Phase to phase fault, where two or more phase conductors come into contact with each other, resulting in a direct path for current flow between the phases. This type of fault can also result in a sudden increase in current flow and can cause significant damage to equipment. Protective relays are devices that are designed to detect abnormalities in the electrical system and trip the circuit breaker to isolate the faulted section. Protective relays are commonly used to detect short circuit faults and can be configured to respond to various types of short circuit faults. Circuit breakers are devices that are designed to pr protect the electrical system by interrupting the current flow in the event of a short circuit fault. Circuit breakers are commonly used in conjunction with protective relays to isolate the faulted section of the system. Current transformers are used to measure the current flowing through a circuit and convert it into a proportional signal that can be used by protective relays to detect short circuit faults. Voltage transformers are used to measure the voltage level in a circuit and convert it into a proportional signal that can be used by protective relays to detect short circuit faults. Power quality analyzers are used to measure various parameters of the electrical system, including voltage, current, power, and harmonics. Power quality analyzers can be used to detect short circuit faults by analyzing changes in the electrical parameters during a fault condition. Fault locators are devices that are used to locate the exact location of a short circuit fault in the power system. Fault locators use various techniques, including time domain reflectometry and impedance measurement, to locate the faulted section of the system. Short circuit faults are a common type of fault that can occur in power systems due to various reasons. reasons. These faults can have significant consequences on the power system, including equipment damage, power outages, and electrical fires. To detect and mitigate short circuit faults, various techniques and strategies are used, including the use of protective relays, circuit breaker operation, load shedding, and redundancy. Open circuit faults. An open circuit fault is a type of fault that occurs in power systems when there is a break or an interruption in the continuity of a conductor, resulting in a loss of current flow. Open circuit faults can occur due to a variety of reasons, such as equipment failure, physical damage to the conductor, or poor maintenance practices. When an open circuit fault occurs, the affected circuit becomes disconnected from the rest of the power system, resulting in a power outage in the affected area. This can have significant consequences, particularly in critical infrastructure such as hospitals, data centers, and industrial plants, where power interruptions can lead to significant downtime, equipment damage, and financial losses. Types of open circuit faults, open conductor faults, this type of fault occurs when a conductor in the power system is broken or disconnected, resulting in an open circuit. Open conductor faults can occur due to various reasons, including mechanical damage, corrosion, or faulty connections. Open phase faults occur when one of the three phases in a three-phase power system is disconnected or broken, resulting in an unbalanced load. Open phase faults can cause overheating of the remaining phases and can lead to equipment damage and insulation breakdown. 
Neutral faults occur when the neutral conductor in a power system is broken or disconnected, resulting in an unbalanced load and overvoltage conditions in the system. Neutral faults can cause equipment damage and pose a safety hazard to personnel due to the increased voltage levels. Ground faults occur when a conductor in the power system comes into contact with the ground or a grounded object, resulting in a flow of current to the ground. Ground faults can cause equipment damage, insulation breakdown, and electric shock hazards to personnel. Insulation, insulation faults occur when the insulation between two conductors in the power system breaks down, resulting in an open circuit. Insulation faults can occur due to various reasons, including overvoltage conditions, insulation aging, and mechanical damage. Various techniques used to detect open circuit faults in power systems, visual inspections, regular visual inspections of the power system can help identify potential open circuit faults, including broken or loose conductors, damaged insulation, or faulty connections. Voltage and current measurements can be used to detect open circuit faults, as the voltage and current levels in the system can change when an open circuit fault occurs. For example, an open phase fault can result in a lower voltage level in one of the phases. Impedance measurements can be used to detect open circuit faults, as an open circuit fault can result in an increase in the impedance of the affected circuit. Impedance measurements can be performed using various techniques, including time domain reflectometry and frequency domain techniques. Power quality monitoring can be used to detect open circuit faults, as changes in the power quality parameters can indicate the presence of a fault. For example, an open phase fault can result in an unbalanced load and changes in the power factor and harmonics. Fault locators can be used to locate the exact location of an open circuit fault in the power system. Fault locators use various techniques, including time domain reflectometry and impedance measurement, to locate the faulted section of the system. These are various techniques used to detect open circuit faults in power systems, including visual inspections, voltage and current measurements, impedance measurements, power quality monitoring, and fault locators. These techniques are essential for ensuring the safe and reliable operation of the power system by detecting and mitigating open circuit faults promptly. A ground fault is a type of fault that occurs in power systems when a conductor makes a direct contact with the ground or an object that is in contact with the ground. Ground faults can occur due to various reasons, such as equipment failure, poor insulation, lightning strikes, or accidental contact with a conductor. When a ground fault occurs, the current flowing through the affected conductor is diverted to the ground, resulting in a sudden increase in current flow. This increased current flow can lead to equipment damage, power outages, and even electrical fires. Ground faults can also cause safety hazards to personnel as the increased current flow can result in electric shocks. Techniques used in detect ground faults, current transformers can be used to measure the current flowing through the power system and detect any changes in current that may indicate the presence of a ground fault. Voltage transformers can be used to measure the voltage level in the power system and detect any changes in voltage that may indicate the presence of a ground fault. Ground fault detectors are specialized devices that are designed to detect the presence of ground faults in power systems. These devices can be set to trip circuit breakers or activate alarms when a ground fault is detected. Power quality monitoring can be used to detect ground faults, as changes in the power quality parameters can indicate the presence of a fault. For example, a ground fault can cause a change in the power factor or voltage levels in the system. Insulation resistance measurement can be used to detect ground faults by measuring the resistance between the conductors and ground. A decrease in insulation resistance can indicate the presence of a ground fault. Frequency Domain Reflectometry FDR is a technique used to detect the location of ground faults in power cables. FDR works by transmitting a high-frequency signal down the cable and measuring the reflections caused by the fault. In conclusion, there are various techniques used to detect ground faults in power systems, including current transformers, voltage transformers, ground fault detectors, power quality monitoring, monitoring, insulation resistance measurement, and frequency domain reflectometry. These techniques are essential for ensuring the safe and reliable operation of the power system by detecting and mitigating ground faults promptly. Causes of power system faults, equipment failure, faults can occur due to equipment failure, such as a transformer or circuit breaker. Environmental factors whether events like lightning strikes, high winds, or ice storms can cause power system faults. 
Human error faults can also occur due to human error, such as incorrect operation of equipment or improper maintenance. Cyber attacks with the increasing reliance on digital control systems, cyber attacks have become a growing concern for power system faults. System instability faults can also occur due to system instability, such as voltage instability or frequency instability. Load changes sudden changes in load demand can also cause power system faults. Steps involved in power system fault detection, fault detection, the first step in managing power system faults is to detect the fault. This can be achieved using various techniques such as protective relays, circuit breakers, or fault monitoring systems. Fault isolation, once the fault is detected, the next step is to isolate the faulted component or section of the power system. This is done to prevent the fault from spreading and causing further damage to the system. Fault clearance after the fault has been isolated, the faulty component or section is repaired or replaced to restore normal operation. This can be a complex and time-consuming process that requires careful planning and coordination. System restoration once the fault has been cleared, the power system is restored to normal operation. This involves testing and verifying the integrity of the repaired or replaced components before returning them to service. Post-fault analysis, after the power system has been restored to normal operation, a post-fault analysis is performed to determine the root cause of the fault and identify any improvements that can be made to prevent similar faults in the future. Maintenance of power system equipment is essential to prevent faults and minimize their impact. Maintenance can include inspections, testing, cleaning, and repairs. Resilience planning involves preparing for and responding to major disruptions or disasters, including power system faults. Resilience planning can include emergency response plans, backup power sources, and contingency plans. Challenges in power system faults. Managing power system faults can be a challenging task due to several factors. Here are some of the main challenges in power system faults. Modern power systems are becoming increasingly complex due to the integration of renewable energy sources, energy storage systems, and other distributed energy resources. This complexity can make fault detection and isolation more challenging, as faults can occur in unexpected ways and require new techniques for detection and resolution. Power system faults can occur quickly and unexpectedly, and rapid response is often necessary to prevent damage to equipment and ensure the continuity of power supply. This can be challenging, particularly in large power systems with many interconnected components. Power system faults generate vast amounts of data, and analyzing this data in real-time can be a challenge. However, real-time data analysis is critical for detecting and isolating faults quickly and accurately. Regular maintenance is essential for preventing faults and minimizing their impact. However, maintenance can be time-consuming and costly, particularly in large power systems with many components. Power system faults can pose a risk to personnel working on or near the system, particularly if they involve high voltages or currents. Ensuring the safety of personnel during fault management is essential. Strategies for fault management include rapid isolation and clearance of faults, regular maintenance to prevent faults, and the use of protective devices such as fuses and circuit breakers. Despite these efforts, managing power system faults remains a complex and challenging task, particularly as power systems become increasingly complex and interconnected. To meet these challenges, continued innovation and collaboration among stakeholders are essential, including the development of new tools and techniques for fault detection and mitigation, as well as ongoing efforts to ensure the safety and reliability of power systems for the benefit of society as a whole. <laughs>